Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the CryptoQ YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be going over another five websites that I think you could benefit from using or that you would enjoy in some way, shape, or fashion. We are going to jump through them. This is episode six, so I have a playlist. You can check it out where I go through all of the other ones. There's quite a few. I mean, we are at episode six. So we've already covered 30, plus I think I had two bonuses, so 32. Quite a few going on here. Also, you can check down in the description for links to some resources that I recommend and that I use. So jumping into it, we have Dapp Bay. This is by BNB itself. Uh, Binance, they made this really. And you can pull it up. It's dappbay.bnbchain.org. And when you go here, you've got a lot of information. You've got different topics you can look at categories for DeFi, etc and they're going to give you ratings for them themselves you've got risk scanners this is actually really unique um, i really do like this you can drop a binance smart chain um, address in here and it's going to give you a risk analysis for it then you can also go over here to the red alarm system and this gets updated weekly and you can actually see uh, so you want to do highest one month users highest seven day users you can do by categories whatever you'd like and it's going to tell you the risk for a various different protocol um if we look at drip you've got you know a significant risk it's going to tell you that it performs differently than what is um, advertised if we go over here to baked beans it's going to say it performs differently from what is advertised and such inequality will lead to unexpected results etc You've got quite a few on here that you can take a look at, right? You can go over here to rankings. You can check out their rankings, et cetera. Quite a bit of information here. If you want to take a look, um, they update this. So if you're going to be on the Binance Smart Chain, it's worth taking a look at this website. The next one is Dapp Radar. So dapradar.com. Uh, I actually did get their airdrop, but you can come in here. Uh, you can actually connect to it. There are airdrops, so hey, Immutable X, uh, Astrafer, and whatever else. So you can go and check out airdrops, a portfolio if you connect to it, token swaps, NFTs, DeFi, you name it. So this is just like most other sites where you can kind of have various different rankings for protocols, PVL, DeFi, your portfolio, etc. Uh, Radar itself is their token. Uh, so you can check that out. I got it as an airdrop, and I'm glad I sold it when I did, to be honest. Uh, but you can see here, you can go by and say, hey, let's uh, go by the balance. This is going to sort it by the balance for the 24 hours. And if we go by 30 days, it's probably a better estimate. We can see uh, you've got an ad for stable fund. ETH2, of course. Uh, you've got your big name projects, the trusted one. Binary X, I'm actually not familiar with, but... That's up there as a game. Auto Shark Finance, Compound, Oasis, Venus Protocol, Axie Infinity, uh, Liquidity. You know, you can go through this. They've got actually tons of information. And Liquidity is a project I need to check out. So I'm going to open that up and take a look at it. Um, I've heard of it. I want to dive deeper into it. NFTs, you can do the same thing. Let's go 30 days. You can see what the top collections are. Board Ape Yacht Club. You got CryptoPunks. They're still up there. You've got Gods Unchained, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, etc. You can click in here. You can check out the CryptoPunks. You can check out what their floor price is. It's about $90,000. That's kind of crazy. Um, I will, I plan to pick up a CryptoPunk. Don't know about the Board Ape personally. Then you can check out the DeFi. You can see different TVLs. So you can see the current TVL sitting at... Pretty much 50 billion with an adjusted TVL of 60 billion. You can see who holds the largest amounts of TVL. Um, Oasis holding quite a bit. Let me mute this real quick. But you can see, you go into Oasis and you can check it out. You can even open the DAP. Uh, this might ask me to connect, but you can go in and take a look at it, do some reviewing, and see if you like it. The third site we're going to talk about here is going to be CoinGecko. Now, CoinGecko is just really a way for you to track your portfolio, uh, look up other tokens, and learn. So they've added quite a few new products. 
Um, you can go here. They've got the Gecko Terminal, which is actually the fifth website we're going to talk about. Uh, their research, they've got app, etc. So they've got a lot here. They've got an API, which I plan to mess with. Then you can go in and check all their tokens, valuations, etc., etc. So you can go through uh, new coins. So if you want to see brand new coins getting listed and what chain they're listed on, I do like that they've added this. You can do that. And you can see their volume, their FTV, when they were added, their price, etc. Whatever you want to change it by, you can do that. Right. So if you want to go by volume, well, you can see, you know, all these protocols that have a very small market cap and FTV. And you can kind of take a look from there. You can go through, you can compare coins. So this is pretty cool. So let's say you want to compare Bitcoin to Ethereum. It's going to tell you that, you know, here's what the price should be at the same market cap of XYZ. So let's just say we took my GMX and, you know, I don't even know what DYDX is at. Well, if they're equivalent, here's where the price would be at. But let's say, you know, GMX wanted to take on something larger. Let's say they took on, let's just say Aave. Well, then now you got a 4.2x you can do, right? So you can do this. This is actually really fun to kind of mess around with, um, get ideas as to where things can be at. You know, if you want to say, uh, for so, you know, let's just say you've got an Ethereum killer. Let's just say, um, let's just say you think Avalanche is going to take over and be the next thing. Um, we'll swap this around because this needs to be AVEX, and we'll say this is Ethereum. Now you've got a 33x you're looking at here. So this is pretty fun to just mess around with, see how things can play out. They've got tons of different things. You can check out different exchanges, derivatives. You can get ratings for them. Plenty of stuff to look at. You can go through NFTs. This is pretty new. Their floor price, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can see, you know, Terraform by Math Castles. You'll see the amount of owners, their price, their market caps. I think looking at the market cap is interesting because you've got a billion dollar market cap for CryptoPunks essentially. So take that for what you will. The fourth one we're going to talk about is just kind of like Coin Gecko, but it is Coin Market Cap. Uh, I've used both of them in the past. Um, I have pros and cons for each. There are certain features I like about Coin Market Cap that I don't. Uh, I wish Coin Gecko had. Right. So similar layout as you can see here. You can actually organize this if you'd like to. You can go in and customize it. You can add and remove tons of different metrics. You can go in, you know, check up upcoming sales for NFTs. This could be really big, right? Maybe you want to find a new NFT. So you could have some alpha here, right? Then you can go in, you can say, well, um, overall stats, maybe I want to look at chain rankings. This can be very beneficial and also a way for you to keep up with different blockchains that you may not be aware of. This is where you can find up and coming chains that do have a token or have something listed so you can track them. Maybe you want to look at Kanto. Maybe you want to look at Ronin. Maybe you want to go down here and look towards the bottom. You want to look, you got Cosmos down here near the bottom. If you go down, you got Cody. Ultra, these are ones I've heard about and I've looked at. You got BitTorrent, Curio, etc. So there's a lot of alpha you can be found in here because you can also check their TVLs. Then you can go on by price estimates, uh, parachains. Maybe you're interested in Polkadot and their parachains. Well, you can check them out here. You know, I'm invested in a couple of these. Um, I actually got into uh, Lit early on, you know, and a couple others on here that I've Jumped onto pretty early on that I didn't expect to do what they did. Exchanges, same thing. Community, if you want to read some articles. This one's pretty interesting. You can get some free airdrops. You've got rewards for their signing in and collecting what they call their diamonds. You got ICO calendar. So you can see um, the interest protocol. It has an IDO. There's seven days left and they want to raise $8.75 million. So if you click on it, you know, you can take a look at it, do your research, and see if you want to join in. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, right? That's something you have to decide on your own. Free airdrops, well, you can go in. They're going to have requirements. So for DeFi chain, you know, you go in here and it says, hey, they're going to airdrop uh, 58,000 to 1,590 people. 
there was 165,000 participants. You have to download the wallet, <clears throat> add it to your watch list, follow the account, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you got $25 worth of tokens. So if you're trying to just build up a small bag, going and doing free airdrops may not be a bad way to just get free money. If you've got a Binance account, you can do a learn and earn. Now, I don't have a Binance account, so I can't necessarily, but you can learn and earn some tokens. And then from there, you can go in and check out at uh, Alexandria, the glossary. I think a lot of this here is useful, especially if you are newer to the market or you just want to refresh some knowledge, right? So you can go in here and you can go to their glossary. I think this is pretty useful for a lot of people. And you can check out, you know, what a decentralized API is, what a 401k, I mean, a 51% attack. If you just want to look up things like this, highly useful website that I think is pretty largely ignored by people. And the last one we're going to be talking about here um, is Gecko Terminal. So Gecko Terminal itself is kind of an extension added on to... Uh, coin gecko and i'm counting this because it is a separate website but they've got some neat things like eth wars so you can see ethereum and it's pretty much performance price dominance etc to ethereum classic proof of work and ethereum fair um, most of which two of those just came out you've got 65 different networks right now 337 different decentralized exchanges 1.1 million different pools and over 1 million tokens there is a lot here right you can go in and you can see the top volume for different pools the top gainers of different pools and the top losers for different pools i mean these are some of these are getting rugged pretty much top gainers this can be useful you know look this gained over 140,000 percent but its liquidity is only 75,000, so that's very low but you could scroll down you could find stuff like hey this has got four million dollars in liquidity it's gone up by 14%. Well, it's OP USDC. And if you go and check out, Optimism's token has actually been pumping as of recently. So it's something worth checking out. Then you can go by and you can actually add things to a watch list. You can go in and check out various different chains here. So this is worth checking out. Maybe you're interested in Syscoin, right? Well, you can go and check out and get some information about Syscoin, liquidity levels, etc. Again, it's general research, general knowledge, keeping up, knowing what's going on, and being generally educated and aware of these things. So, with that being said, these are the five different websites. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.